So after 17 races, the top driver in the Penske camp is Logano. Few would have predicted that after the season Brad Keselowski had a year ago. Keselowski's season so far, though, has put him in jeopardy of doing something that hasn't been done since 2006. That was the last time a defending Sprint Cup Series champion failed to qualify for the chase. As Jim Noble explains, there is mounting concern. Keselowski could be on the outside looking in come September. He wanted to have a good day. He needed to have a good day. But Brad Keselowski's championship hangover continued at Kentucky. This latest disappointment came just 48 laps in Sunday when Kurt Busch got down on the apron of the racetrack, lost control, and sent the two cars spinning, then crashing. We had a decent car. I feel like we could have ran, you know, respectable today. I don't know if we were going to threaten for the win, but I think we could have obviously ran fifth or so and uh, had a decent day, but uh, not now. Uh, it was a bonehead move on my part. I feel like an idiot. You know, if I could give my points back to them today, I would. Yeah, um, I went to the low side. Everybody says this track's got character. I found out what happens when all four tires are off the ground and it jumped back up. I was trying to ease out of it and get back behind him. It was too late. Just a stupid move on my part. Well, I mean, I'm still wrecked. I mean, so I don't know. Uh, he's smarter than that. He knows better than that. So for this day, the war was lost, but the battle continued. The two team essentially rebuilt the car with even the driver lending a hand. They got back out on the track and salvaged a few points with perhaps making a statement, don't write us off quite yet. Brad's done a good job, I think, so far, and, and all these guys, are, they're racers, and, and they continue to work hard. Um, obviously, it's, it's not a fun spot to be, but we know we're capable of being on the other side of it, and I think that's what uh, gives us all the confidence to just keep working hard and knowing that it'll turn around. We're just going to go do our thing, and... Uh... It's, uh, we're just on that little streak of bad luck. It'll turn around, and when it does, we'll be in victory lane and be all right. You know, that's a nice thought, but Keselowski might be trying to make lemonade out of lemons. He falls from 9th to 13th in the standings, and without a win to fall back on for a wild card spot, that trip to victory lane might be the only way that the defending champion sniffs a spot in the championship chase. At Kentucky Speedway, Jim Noble, ESPN. So with just nine regular season races remaining, here's how things look for Keselowski. He's 14 points behind 10th in the cup standings and cannot afford to fall back on that wild card either as Tony Stewart and Casey Kane own those right now thanks to a victory apiece. And one of the drivers Keselowski is chasing is his teammate Joey Logano, who is 10th. And Andy Petrie rejoins us now. And Andy, for the defending champ, this season has not gone as planned. Uh, 13th in the standings and winless with just nine regular season races remaining. What do you think the mindset is right now for the two team? Uh, Mike, they're really frustrated. Uh, they really felt like they should be a lot better th than they are right now. But you got to think back about this time last year. They started getting really hot and, uh, and winning some races and really setting the stage to win this championship that they won uh, last year. Now, this year it's a little different. They, they're not under the radar anymore. Uh, they were kind of an underdog and nobody really put the big focus on him until it came right down to the end. But this year he's a defending champion. There's a lot of, um, of, of demands on the champion, a lot of different things. And I talked to Paul Wolf about it. He says they, they probably don't give enough credit to how hard that is on race team because Brad has been distracted a little bit by that. Uh, but I think this team has got what it takes to pull it back together. You definitely know the character of this team. That said, how do you think they'll, they'll react to the situation in the next nine races? I think they're going to I think they're going to surprise some people. I think they're going to be really solid. They can't afford to go out there and, and throw Hail Marys and try to get these wins to try to get this wild card thing. But I think that they can race their way right back into the top 10 and possibly win a race. I'm not too concerned about Brad Keselowski missing the chase. I think he'll make it. I think this team has got a lot of character, like you said. Paul Wolf's a very solid leader, and Brad Keselowski is one of those guys that does not ever give up on his car, his team, and he's not going to give up on this season. Uh, meanwhile, one of the best stories of the year revolves around his teammate, Joey Logano, having a very solid first year with Penske. Why do you think this has worked so well for him? Uh, he has had a very surprising year. I didn't see this coming. Uh, he, he got canned over there at Gibbs and, and found a new place at Penske. And I think it's helped him grow a little bit. I, he's a very young guy, you gotta remember that. And he's got a lot of talent. But I think he's actually growing into uh, this maturity uh, that it takes to be a champion. I think you're gonna see him win a championship before it's over. And this is, uh, I think he's really surprised a lot of people. 